hey, Travis, you don't know what this is because you never worked somewhere. But when the boss comes in, you have to say, the apple is red. The apple is red. Yeah, I'm getting ready. I'm going to let him know that. uh, Dale, do you want to say anything to LaTarte right now? We're taping our podcast. Come on, man. We're on the Super Bowl right now. Who you like in the Super Bowl? Are you on? Uh, are you Chiefs? Because we're oh, all no, Chiefs. No, no. Um, I got the 49ers uh, by 10. <laughs> blowout. 49ers blowout. 10 points is not a blowout. <laughs> in the Super Bowl, it is. The following is a production of Dirty Mo Media. All right, the Taylor Swift Bowl. Um, I'm just going to tell you maybe, maybe I'm believing the hype. I know my daughter's a Swifty, so maybe I'm just believing the hype. But I'm on Kansas City. I'm on Travis Kelsey on all his overs. He's going to score a touchdown. He's going to have the yards. I love all of that stuff. Professor, you said you were tickling the ivories. So please, state your case. I did. Where do you want to start? Just with them winning? A winning bet. What we want to start is with a winning bet. Just win a bet. Okay, so this was an interesting stat I saw, was that teams that travel west to play in the Super Bowl have a 7-0 and record versus teams that travel east for the Super Bowl. So the Chiefs have to travel west, and San Francisco is traveling east, and they're 7-0 and in the Super Bowl. How crazy is that? It's a great stat. I mean, you might as well just say the Patriots play in New England. Yeah. Oh, is that too much for the Eagles? Wait, so, so where did the Eagles travel to? <laughs> they didn't travel west then, did they? The Bahamas? Because they're they, off. They both. <laughs> no, I'm saying last it. year. Where did the Eagles travel to? Because uh, they both traveled so west. Well. That doesn't count, Travis. No, no. no listen, I'm, I'm, I'm picking on your stat, but those are the types of stats we're looking for. Because we're not going to claim to be football experts. I bet on dumber things. Okay. I like so, it. so I this like one's it. even better. Are you ready for this? The Chiefs are 19 and one in the last 20 times they played when there was a waxing crescent moon. And Does it lost. matter that Allegiant Stadium is indoors? If you can't see the moon, it doesn't matter. Does it change it's, it? It's still the moon. It's still the the gravitational pull. Look at Trav. Trav's flipping through his notes. You didn't have waxing crescent <laughs> on your notes? What? What? Is, I don't even know what a waxing crescent moon is. It's just like to the left, to the right, the small one. I don't even know what it is. Yeah, well, Either wax professor. is getting bigger. <laughs> it, it's a stat. It doesn't matter. Okay, here's the one I love. I'm taking no no uh, no return on the kickoff, touchback on the kickoff. But you cashed that bet last year, right? You hammered that one. No, last year I was on the wrong side. Last year oh, I was convinced were. they were gonna run it out, and they didn't. This year, being in Vegas in the dome, I think that that altitude, so on and so forth. I think this baby doesn't get returned. What I'm about with you the on moon, that one. The gravitational pull does that help or yeah. hurt? <laughs> I, yeah, I know. I'm gonna have to call my physics. I'm gonna call up to call Kappa Sig like I did during the Rolex. That's my kid's frat. I'm gonna call those smart Phoenix. The, hey, uh, I'm gonna call the the, the the frat kids and be like, hey, give me the gravitational pull of the waxing crescent, and I need this information stat. <laughs> Tim's, what's your uh, information on the coin toss? Because apparently it's not fifty fifty. It's not. Fifty three percent of the time it hits tails. So tails never <laughs> fails, my man. Everyone knows that. It's like for sure we got to be on tails. That's all I heard. All I needed to hear was that it, it, it was favored tails and tails never fails. So I'm betting tails. I mean, I think look. there's something with the, if you start the coin with heads and he flips it, it's an extra rotation for heads. I don't know. There's a theory out there, but it's not 50 50. So tails all the way. I do it just because I need a little, I need a little juice right at the start. Yeah. Right. That, that rush, I mean, the game hasn't even started yet and you got to bet on something is FaceTime all your buddies. Come on, come yeah. on, tails. Everybody's still in the kitchen getting a plate, and you're glued to the screen for the coin toss. Yeah, right. Yeah. They're all at the dip table. I'm like, man, we're on. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of it's uh, how the ref flips the coin, I read today, the last 10 years, the under is uh, has hit 60% of the time that Bill Vinovich is a referee of a game. He's refereeing the Super Bowl. 65% of the money, though, is on the over. So the public's betting the over because that's more fun. But stat says with this ref, the under. I can't bet on the under, man. I just can't do it. I can't ever bet on an under of a game I'm going to watch. Now, I'm not Why? saying I'll never bet an under. Why? Because you want the fun? Yeah. But let me tell you this, though. With the under, you're winning until you lose. The over, you're always losing until you win. Such is my life. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is the over is never dead until the whistle. Where the under can die in the third quarter. 
It's true. Just like I need the coin flip right away, I got to hold on to that over for all well, see, four that's quarters the best. every minute. Some last second overtime. Like, I got, how about the BS? We're going to take a safety to run the clock out. And I'm telling you, though, with analytics, I, I, like, do we feel that it's trending lower scores now that they, like, go for it on fourth and manage the clock better? Like, I would love to know what the NFL totals look like over the last five years. I feel like this is purely a degenerate gambler, right? When I'm watching games, I see more smart plays, going down at the one, staying in bounds, running the clock. Like, these players just used to run for the end zone. I feel like that's not happening as much. Well, see, and that's what I think San Francisco is going to try to do is keep control of the ball and keep Patrick Mahomes off the field. Is You know, the offense isn't as high-powered as it used to be, but it's, it's still Patrick Mahomes, which is why I found a bet today. Number 49ers to record a rush attempt. Over four and a half players is plus 168. You already know that Brock Purdy, Chris McCaffrey, and Debo Samuel are going to run the ball. That's three right now. Then you have anywhere between Kyle Juszczyk, Juwan Jennings, and Elijah Mitchell. Two out of those three, and you cash that. I think they're going to try to run, run, run. I wonder how that gets scored, like a jet sweep with a receiver. That'd be a rush. A, a, a jet sweep or a pop pass. Is any of those are recorded as rushes. Does it matter if they use they lose like 12 yards on the Jets? It sweep? doesn't it's matter. It, no, it's, yeah, attempt. it's It's the attempt. attempt. That's the other thing. And but I think that's the problem I have. Well, I'm going to jump on the attempts. So this is the problem I have with the Mahomes rushing yards. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, the lines are obviously very close. But it, say they're winning, right? You could lose six or eight yards in the last series of downs, right? Three yeah. knees. And it's like, yeah. you know, could be taken right from your grips. grips. Yeah. The, uh, Especially Mahomes and Purdy really aren't running quarterbacks, so like they might scramble for a few, but then it, they'll lose. So that number looks enticing, but like, yeah, I don't know. So one the big sack. One, mm. The number yeah. one, um, one of the number one prop bets right now is Brock Purdy over twelve and a half rushing yards at minus one thirty. That's one of the most popular bets right now. So I'm taking it. I, yeah, I know he's not. I know he's not known as a runner, but I'm taking the Brock Purdy, and it's going to cash in one breakout play. It isn't going to be five runs. It's going to be a busted play, something, 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 and he's going to scamper for like forty or some it's crazy. Worth rem- it's worth remembering NFL sacks are not accounted for rushing. Really? Oh, I believe that's college. It is. Yeah, college. It is. I know that. So I like can't the Neils, all these rules. the Neils are rushing attempts, but a sack isn't. How about the other lighthearted stuff? Do we have an opinion on yeah. the national national anthem? National anthem it's over and under ninety point five seconds. Now it's Reba McIntyre, country singer. I did some homework. Went watched a uh, national anthem from a couple decades ago. It came in basically at ninety seconds. Now my theory is. She's going to hit a couple notes. Brave is going to go a little longer. There's going to be a few that she drags on. Now, the question is, the video that I was watching, she was at a rodeo. So she's putting a little twang on. Now, does she remove some of that twang and keep it shorter? And I'll put another wrinkle in your system. Closed dome, the flyover doesn't have to be timed right. Sometimes you get a bit longer because they give them the old F-150s are not quite here yet. Stretch that maybe out. This is going to be a cut TV shot. None of that's going to have to matter at the same time. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm patriotic. I'm taking the over. I want it to last, man. I want to soak it all in before that ball goes in the air. Yeah, the last one under under 90 seconds was was Billy Joel in 2007. Like 90 seconds is 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 nothing for what it's been lately. Yeah, this opened at like 84 too, which was super low. I think. And if you're I Reba, you got to maximize your TV time. And yeah. doesn't she have like a band that's going to be with her? It's not just going to be her this time either. Now I don't. It makes me nervous though. Now that because has when me it's a cappella, you can stretch, you can look artistic, I mean. artistic creation. But when you're when you're going on a band, man, you know I'm yeah, no but drummer, are- but it's one, two, three, like it's beats. I'm still taking the over. I'm taking the over. Yeah. I'm taking the over, and I'm taking tails. I'm taking a safety because everyone loves a safety in the Super Bowl. I mean, come on. There's certain bets you have to take. Gatorade color for the bath. Now, I will say, the other day, Kyle Shanahan was asked about his favorite color, and he said, like, I don't know, maybe orange. So orange has moved, but there's purple, blue, then there's yellow, green, lime together, orange, red, and pink are together, clear and or water, and then no Gatorade bath. Well, so I don't, I don't bet this. I don't like it. Why not? Huh? Why do we care about Shanahan? We, we just said the Chiefs were going to win. 
Yeah, it's the Taylor Swift theory. They want that picture. They're not going to put purple and blue Gatorade on it or orange. They're doing clear. They're doing Chief Red, one of those two. No, see, that's the thing. is, So they've done, the Chiefs have done orange, and they've done purple. Now, You know why I'm have, not taking it? Because they're going to be showing Taylor Swift, and we ain't going to even see it live. It and doesn't I'm matter. I'm not going to search shit on YouTube. No, I no, think, it does matter. My entertainment matters, and I either want to see the splash or I want no action. You're going to see it, and I also think that's why red is the play, because it works with both teams' colors, plus if the Chiefs do want to play into the Taylor Swift thing with the red, that is the play. I will say, though, we have seen a couple years where there was nothing. I don't think they're dousing. Uh, I, I'm just going to tell you, man, I don't think you're going to. I don't think old Andy is taking the bath. He's taking it. Pete. He doesn't have a choice. I watched him take it last year. It was the saddest thing in my life. Mm-hmm. He's not going to turn it down now. I will say, Bill Belichick, one year, there was none. 2017. That, I believe. Bill, not even... Not even coaching this year, man. Don't We're, take me down that road. My emotion can't handle that at the moment. 